Hi, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. It's time for the March-April episode of my This Time Last Year series. Uh, I am doing this this year in collaboration with Alexi, so I will link her down below. Go check her out. I'm sure you know who she is. Anyway, let's get into it because it's going to be kind of long. Uh, as you know, if you watched my last video <laughs> um, in this series, I went a little crazy after my no buy. Well, just wait for it. Let's go over the things from March. So I'm just going to talk about these first because they're right over here. So in March, I got the Fix Plus in Coconut and Rose from MAC. I love these. I use them all the time. It's not really an issue. I still have too many, but. Also the Smashbox Primerizer, or sorry, the Smashbox Primer Water. This is Aura Shield and this is Love Ritual. It's like Rose Jasmine. And then this one is like Clary Sage and Tea. I haven't used much of this one. Doesn't have much of a scent, but I love Love Ritual. So I'll use those. I do need to stop buying setting sprays though. So I have, uh, yeah, excuse my hair. I need a haircut. I broke into the Pat McGrath little lip gloss mini trio and I love these. Uh, my favorite is this one, this color right here in divine rose. It's gorgeous. So I do really like this formula. I'm wearing divine rose over another lip gloss, uh, lipstick today. So I love it. Okay. You know, I forgot to put this in for some reason. It's the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Appy. And it's this like orangey color, which I should be wearing and I'm not. But um, yeah, I'll pull that into a shop my stash at some point. Also, not all of these, but this green nine section over here is a uh, kiss me clover from Davina and I love it they're all mattes and they're gorgeous so I have been using those that's a spoiler for panning solitaire I've been using some of those anyway and then my other palette is the ColourPop yes please I did not no I did I used this one time I did I actually took this color uh what is it called chauffeur and butter cake so I took this chauffeur and then butter cake and I did the chauffeur all over the lid and butter cake just as a spotlight and it is beautiful so I will just show you those so you can see what I'm talking about here but they are so so pretty gorgeous love that why it's like a really pretty like gold orange duochrome I love it all right, on the orange kick, I did in fact use every single one of these in here uh, and they are beautiful. So this is the Smashbox Ablaze face palette. Loved it. I am wearing the Lancome powder foundation today. This is in 130 porcelain, ivory neutral. Uh, this is the dual finish, so it's wet or dry. I've never used it wet. I've just been using it dry. Okay, so I'm actually very sad to say that I didn't touch the Lime Crime cream blushes and I really want to. I mean, the colors are so pretty. I just, I had to leave town in a hurry. I had a lot to deal with. I had to go back to Vegas. I had to visit my mother who was extremely ill and um, yeah. So I didn't use these. So I'm going to try though. I really, I really want to. I was going to wear them today and then I put on the foundation, which is powder and I forgot. So I could have used something else. It was one or the other. Uh, anyway, then there's this Ofra mini, it's midi palette. It's the Nikki Tutorials highlighting palette. I did use every single shade in here and I love it still. I used all three of the lip toppers, uh, Black Unicorn, LA, and Acid Fairy. 
uh, from Lime Crime and they're gorgeous. They definitely are toppers. I don't see myself wearing these alone. They looked a little patchy. They're better over a lipstick, so there's that. The Bushy Brow from Lime Crime, I love this. Okay, oh, and while we're on Lime Crime, Pixie Diamond Dew, love, beautiful. Uh, this is the Inglot Gel Liner Pot, it's 84. It's the yellow one, and it's beautiful. That will go really nicely with that Sunset Palette. I didn't use it, I need to though, but um, I just wasn't really feeling yellow at this point, <laughs> so maybe soon, maybe. And then to finish off that whole Smashbox collection, I had the Crystallized Primerizer. This was the Hood Witch collab. Uh, I love this. I love the Moonstone Crystallized uh, Shimmer Drops. These are gorgeous. Beautiful. And then the P. Louise base in uh, Rumor and Bada Black. I really enjoy these. And last but not least, I believe that is everything, yes, is this beautiful um, Hood Witch Smashbox. And this one is, this highlighter is called Optimistic, that's right. I don't know why I didn't use this. Let me see if I can get a good swatch. I, I mean, it's just going to boil down to I had to leave town. But interestingly enough, it really does kind of remind me of the other one from Smashbox, the Vlada Gilded Rose. Uh, I think this one's... I don't know. It's not quite as cool toned, maybe, but they're very similar. So pretty much just a score on the packaging for this one. Maybe that's why. I, I mean, I didn't use it because I wasn't here. Let's be real. So that was a thing. Sorry about that. Okay, that was March. Uh, I'd say that was pretty successful. I actually did use almost everything. So, and I, to be honest, oh, I have to use the cream blushes still. And the, uh, I have worn Appy before. I have worn this before and I do like it. I will show you what that looks like. I'll swatch it next to the uh, ColourPop. Yes, please. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. Look at it. Really beautiful color, super warm. Uh, not been feeling that. I've been really neutral and grungy lately. I mean, this is a good grungy color, but anyway, I have worn it. I do love it. So I think this was a good batch. It, it was overkill. I spent way too much on it. <laughs> Um, I bought way too much stuff, but at least I like it all. So that's a bonus. All right. I will be right back. I'm going to go put all this away and then I'll come back at you with my April. And let me tell you, I did not slow down. So it's going to be a minute. <laughs> be right back. Okay. I'm back. And I'm telling you, I told you there was a lot once again. I lost my mind. Uh, I was working at Sephora at this point, so discount, surrounded by makeup, what can I say? Wow. Anyway, let's go over it, shall we? So I got the Glow Setter, Glam Glow Glow Setter. This smells incredible, and it has the finest mist. Ugh, like, it's, it's so good. Mm, it's so good. So good. I love this and I'm surprised it's still here. I do have a lot of setting sprays as we know. Uh, but this is one I use often. So I think that the secret to why it's lasting so long is the fine spray that you get from it. And I would recommend that. It's expensive, but it lasts forever. So that's going to be in here. Okay. I can't read this right now um, and I forgot my glasses. So I will tell you what it is next time, or I will put it down at the bottom of the screen. That's what I'll do. Editing Kana. We'll take care of that. Uh, but it is an Essie gel polish and the top coat 
gel top coat. Uh, I saw one of my YouTuber friends wearing this and I asked them what it was and I had to have it. So that's, that's where that came from. Have not used it. Just saying. Okay. I apparently thought I needed two foundations the same month. So I got the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation and it's gorgeous. And then I have this NARS Sheer Glow in Light 2 Mont Blanc. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I love this one. I've used, I had to actually pull this out of my everyday makeup drawer. So I've been using that. Uh, this one has been sitting in my drawer and I don't think I've used it. <laughs> oh my God. So this needs to get used this month. All right. Okay, these are from Too Faced. They're called the Crystal Whips. They are their liquid eyeshadows. They're amazing. You can tell I really wore a lot of this one. Uh, there's a big window there. You can see that. But they are so pretty. I didn't wipe my hand, so I'll just swatch next to the uh, last round stuff. Anyway, there they are. They are so stinking pretty, guys. Highly recommend these. They're gorgeous. So, also had another nail polish, OPI ring bearer. And you guys, I tend to do this weird thing where I shop a color every month, apparently. I get like obsessed with a particular type of color. I bet you it has to do with my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna look back and see what color my hair was. I'll get back to you on that but I bet it is, but you know. So the Marc Jacobs, this is the Omega Shadow in Smoke. It's really pretty single shadow. I didn't put this in my panning solitaire because it's giant. Um, but I do wanna wear this. It's so beautiful. You see that? It's just like this really powdery, like smoky blue. I love it. Let's see if I can swatch. Oh, it's so soft. These shadows are like super silky. It's so pretty. I love that. Yeah, it's just like a really, really pretty, like a pastel grunge blue. I don't know. It's gorgeous. So there's that. And on that note, I also got the Omega Glaze Highlighter, which is also gigantic. So, um, here it is. <laughs> so there's a train. Uh, the trains are still going, but the plane noise has gone down so much. So, uh, there are not a lot of bright sides, but I'll take that one. Anyway, this is the Omega Glaze. It's huge. Uh, let me see if I can put a finger in here. Oh, look at it. It's so bright. Let me see. Uh, I'll put it right here. Lord. Try to. Anyway. I don't know if you can see that down here, right here. I feel like this does show a little texture and it seems strangely a little dirty if I'm not careful with it. So um, I'm gonna play with this some more. It's been a while for sure. Okay, so I have the Bobbi Brown Mineral Rich Face Base. I really do like this. It's like, is it lemon? I think it's, I've been using this. I also had to pull this out of my everyday makeup drawer. Yeah, it smells like lemons, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. Anytime I smell that lemon fragrance, it makes me think of Trix cereal. Anyone else? Just saying. But I do like this. And the Hourglass Mineral Veil Translucent Powder. I love this. So this one is the kind that has the little H in there and then it doesn't let any more out than that little circle in the middle. So that's kind of nice, actually. 
but yeah, I really like that. Let's see. Oh, more highlighter. I got the Fenty Beauty, uh, what is this, the Diamond Bomb highlighter in How Many Carrots? And it's so stinking pretty, guys. It looks like it would just be this white, crazy, glittery highlighter, but no. It's actually this really wet looking, no base color to it, so it would work on anyone. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick that up. Do a little more. Ugh, so beautiful. But it's like super wet looking. Uh, it's just this really, really like micro shimmers and no base color, as I said. So it totally works on anyone and it's stunning. I love it. And when I got that, I also got the Diamond Milk from Fenty, which is a beautiful lip gloss. Her gloss, her glosses smell so good, but it's basically the same concept as the highlighter. It's just, yeah. So there that is. Love that. So while we're talking about Fenty, I picked these up. They're the Poutsicles and uh, this one is in Sun Snatched and then this one is called Go Deep. Anyway, um, there's like a story behind these, but they're supposed to be kind of like a popsicle lip, I guess. And I never wear them because I despise them. And I'll tell you about that in a second. They're super pretty. I really should wear them and I will make an effort, but that's what they look like right here. Oh, I just touched the gloss. <laughs> anyway, there they are. They're really, really pretty. Uh, but the story with these is that I bought them when they came out because I loved them. We had a display of these at the beauty studio on the uh, kind of table there and everybody's children would get into them and they'd be everywhere. And I would like have to like pick them up and clean them and customers would get them on their clothes and I would get them on my clothes. And oh, like we begged our manager to just get rid of them, but no. No, not only would she not get rid of them, but she would consistently put them somewhere where little hands could get a hold of them. I don't know why they they're they're so colorful and they stain. So uh, it was really really aggravating. And when they finally got shaved down to the point where they were just gone, <laughs> we weren't going to use them anymore. I came in the next day she had replaced them. I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm going to use them and I'm going to try to get over that. <laughs> okay. Then also orange because blue and orange, apparently. Um, this, I think orange was still happening last month and then it was fading into this month. So it'll bleeding in a little bit, but this is the Mandarin Powder Kiss Lipstick from MAC. I'm gonna put it right here. Ooh, she's pretty. I really, really like this formula. It's like super soft and um, powdery. And um, it's just a really, really beautiful kind of, I like to just tap it in and kind of blot it out. It's like a really beautiful blotted lip effect. That's what I was trying to say. Also beautiful is this CEO from Sephora. It's one of their lip lacquers and it is, like uh, this really beautiful color. It's kind of watermelon, you know? But uh, what I like about this is when it does wear off, it leaves a really beautiful tint. Like it stains, but in a great way. So I love that. And last but not least, we have the NARS O <laughs> gloss, the NARS Orgasm gloss. Uh, this is the uh, lip tint. Uh, no, there's a name for it. It's like the, oh. The oil infused lip tint, I think they call this. But um, it's very, very, very pretty. I really love this. You're not gonna be able to see much color on my hand, but it is very pretty on the lips. I love this. So, one more lip item. Well, five, you'll see. 
avalanche. Uh, the Sephora, and, well, the Moschino Sephora collection, the uh, liquid markers is what they're called. Really cute. Little cat hair for me. But yeah, I have this turquoise, lavender, purple, orange, and like a watermelon color here berry watermelon kind of thing but um I have touched them like I have used a couple of them but I just keep them in here because it's so cute and I just want to hang this up <laughs> but anyway um yeah I haven't used them all so I need to do that we're getting there I swear the Natasha Denona mini lila palette was of course on sale for $12.50 plus my discount and I have since gotten the Lila palette, but during my declutter with my eyeshadow palettes, I don't think that these are really the same. And I like having a little one to take. Um, I do like this. I haven't used everything in here, have I? Oh yeah, I have. I have. But I do like this. So it's not like her best, but I like it. It works. Oh, I also got the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette, but if you watch my Jeffree Star mystery box unboxing with my friend Abel, uh, I traded it to him for the Alien palette, basically. <laughs> so, yeah. I had never touched it because I was just holding on to it. Next, I got this Morphe Jaclyn Hill The Vault Dark Magic, and I actually got this because my friend Alexi, who's doing this with me uh, she has it and she said she really likes it um, so I bought it and I really like it too now it's not perfect some of these are kind of duds but honestly like they're so pretty the ones that do work uh, I'm pretty well I haven't really touched these two over here but I'm pretty well obsessed with like all of these and this one over here um, it's worth it when you can get this thing to work. It's so pretty. I, it's so grungy and pretty and I love it. So I do use this occasionally. I do love it. Okay. I have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I really like this palette. First of all, I love that the packaging folds back. I prefer the cardboard. I'm just saying, but it's really pretty. I do still like it. Um, these colors are amazing. You can get so many beautiful neutral looks out of this. Like if you have this, you do not need the Naked Reloaded. It's in here. It's like, it's all kinds of in here with all of these neutrals It's and golds. It's so pretty. Um, but also the oranges and these really dusty, grungy blues and just, yeah. I love this palette, so got a lot of use out of this. Haven't used it for a while, so I will go ahead and do that. Okay, believe it or not, we are down to the last item. It's also an eyeshadow palette. It is the Huda Beauty, the new nudes, and it's really, really pretty. Get it out. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. And let me open her up. There it is. Oh, don't fall out. Uh, there it is. Really pretty palette. I really like this a lot. I, I haven't used it a lot. I never, let me just touch this because that is such a pretty glitter right there really really pretty glitter so anyway I really like these special shades here I love the neutrals in here um, yeah this is an easy one it'll go with my hair so I do really like this palette but um, I remember it being kind of like you had to really build it up so I'll play with it some more and we'll see if I still feel that way but yeah that is everything <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is one more thing. I had a uh, Laneige lip balm in peach. Uh, one of those, I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, I, I it's lost in a purse somewhere. 
I don't know, or a pocket of a jacket. And I have like a hundred million of those, which I will show you someday because I really want to kind of KonMari my things and share that with y'all. So <laughs> I might do that at some point. This might be a good time to start. So yeah, anyway, that is everything for this video as if it's not enough. And I am happy to say I actually do use a lot of these things. So so far so good on that there is an actual plane guys it's a novelty these days um they're talking about stopping the planes from flying at all so uh airlines are uh but you know i hope not because mail you know anyway it's been very quiet out here by the airport these days uh but yeah that is going to be everything for this video let me know down below if you want to see me specifically use one of these items or anything like that or if you have any favorites let me know what you think uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you would like to now would be a great time so yeah please do that that would be great anyway i will see y'all later bye